So it's February 22nd, 2022, a Tuesday, THE Tuesday, and um, I thought that now that I'm done with all the conventions I have for this year so far, I thought I'd start like a workshop diary. I don't want it to be anything like super well produced, so I'm using a GoPro, not using like my full fat camera. Just kind of want to... You know, I spend my mornings, a lot of my days down here in the shop while I, you know, do remote work. So I thought I want to keep track of the shop stuff that I do. Things I build, things I fabricate, things I 3D print. Just to kind of keep on track, keep on top of this sort of thing. So yeah, uh, let's get started. I think the first thing I'm going to do uh, is <laughs> clean my work bench area. I have to leave it sort of a mess right before galley. So let's clean it up. First things I do after I clean up is make some proper mounts for the GoPro. Yeah. So I don't know where to put this WD-40. It's actually not something I use very often. I feel like it should be in a semi-prominent place. Because like WD-40, right? Maybe add to the to-do list some sort of slot-in charger for this mini screwdriver. Something it can just sort of slide into and self-align with the charging cable? Uh, maybe. So I've cleared off my workbench about as much as I really feel I need to. It's, it's definitely a much cleaner space, um, so I'm going to start working on different projects. Um, but a good <clears throat> one of the important aspects of time management is if you can, setting up one thing to happen on its own while you work on other things. Um, so something that's been annoying me uh, is this lamp I picked up from Goodwill a while back. It's a really nice lamp. It's got two power outlets and three USB ports. And, you know, I got it for, you know, 13 bucks. It's a pretty good lamp. It does not have a lamp shade, though. Um, so I need to give it a lamp shade. I've, tr I've been perching this old broken one on it for a while, um, but it doesn't quite fit. So I am going to try printing a lampshade with my big printer. It happens to have white filament in it, which is just what I need. Um, so I'm going to start off by, let's get some quick measurements here, and then we'll draft something up in Tinkercad and send it to the printer. Okay, so that is one lampshade, 3D printed. It took a couple hours, but you know, fucking worth it. Let's just go ahead and gently, gently scrape this off the bed. There we go, come on. Gently, gently. 
get the excess 3D printer residue off it. Okay, that's one lampshade. off if we can the excess. Vase mode printing. The uh, vase mode printing is take something really annoying, like a super thin walled object, and it makes it objectively far less annoying to print. Because the printer doesn't have to go back and forth. You can just do the print after like the bottom layers if they're solid. That's fucking good enough. Look at that. Pristine. The bottom, eh, whatever. But it did. Pristine. Alright, so. Go ahead and we'll take that off of there. Screw this bulb, put that on, and that should just sort of more or less thread right on. Actually, really, it should just press right on like that, and it does. Just screw the light bulb back in, and there we go. One new lampshade. All right, and then on top of that, I made a GoPro mount which I put a video on my TikTok about, but it's just like a little, it's a magnetic GoPro mount, so I can just go like, like, and it's magnetized. It's like stuck to my drill press right now. Oof. Or I can do upside down. Ba bam And there we go. Fucking sick. All right, what's next?